time Britain accidentally weaponised a toy train. In 1940, the British government commandeered a small railway in Kent, specifically the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway, due to its length and proximity to the southeast coast. The War Cabinet believed it to be essential for transport of troops, ammunition and for meeting other assorted wartime needs. What they didn't realise was the actual size of the railway. The railway is a 15 inch gauge railway, meaning that the space between the rail is 15 inches, just over one foot. But the government believed it to be a full size standard gauge railway, which would be 54 inches between the rails, or 4 feet 6 inches. So basically, the British government commandeered a miniature railway during World War II. This is because on a map, a railway line, whether full sized or miniature, will appear the same and thus the government made the error of believing this would be just the bog standard, conveniently placed railway to suit their needs. So they just had to make do. The railway was essential in transporting troops and other resources to the beaches that the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway passes. This brings us to this particular entry. This engine is... This engine's name is Hercules. It was fitted in the Second World War with armour plating, along with an armoured train. This train carried two anti-aircraft guns, and the idea was that it would patrol up and down the Kent coast and shoot down any enemy aircraft. Now, there have been two confirmed aircraft that have been shot down by this train. You wouldn't have thought something so small could bring down something so powerful. Hercules is a mountain-type class engine. With its 482 wheel arrangement, it is a very strong and powerful locomotive. Its sister engine, Samson, was ordered at the same time to the same drawings as Hercules, but Hercules was constructed first, and Samson followed. Due to Hercules being built first, it was the newest engine on the line, and at the time it was chosen for armour plating. Unfortunately, on my visit to the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway, Hercules herself was not in steam, however Samson was, and since these engines are completely identical aside from colour, a lot of the footage you see is actually Samson, the difference being Hercules is painted red and Samson is painted blue. So why armour a toy train then? Well, it was better to patrol up and down the coast with an armoured train and engine, rather than having the bog standard toy train. Comparing it to Hitler's armoured train, it certainly failed the dick measuring contest, but, it's what you do with it, is what matters most. The armour plater was added to Hercules because of the proximity of the English coast to the French at a time where France was occupied by the Nazis. Due to its distance from France, it made it easier for enemy aircraft to cross the channel and invade Britain, passing over the southeast coast. Hercules, when not in use, was hidden away in a fake tunnel somewhere near Zinchurch. A fake tunnel is essentially a tunnel that cannot be seen from above and therefore render itself and its contents invisible to aviating invaders. As I mentioned before, Hercules, a toy train, saw action. Armoured with a boy's anti-tank rifle and Lewis guns, these were mounted on two gravel hopper wagons and joined to Hercules for the duration of the war. Considering she was intended as a rich man's toy, this isn't to say that the sight of this mini armour plated monster would be cute or comical. Judging by the images, I think it's fair to say it is fucking terrifying. Due to the secrecy of her wartime escapades, it is hard to track down too many reliable sources regarding its service. However, what is known is that she did in fact shoot down two German planes, proving that size doesn't matter. Therefore, you should never feel bad about your small. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this short video on the time Britain accidentally armoured a toy train. If you'd like to check out our other videos, we'd be very much grateful. And if you like this video, like it, share and subscribe. Please consider sharing it with a friend. Maybe invite them round to your house, tie them to a chair, pin their eyes open and forcibly make them watch every single second of this channel's content. See you in the next one. I've been Connor Jones.